Hello there, everybody. My name is Silver. Welcome back to Destiny 2. It is your day. Oh, yeah, brother. All right, let's see what he's got for us in this first week of Season of the Rivals. Of, of the Rivals? Of the Arrivals. How are you enjoying Season of the Rivals? Arrivals! Uh, it's pretty cool so far. I like it. The public event is... Eh, but... You know, it's certainly not as bad as the last one. It's kind of like Mini Gambit, and it's like pretty chaotic and fun, if you ask me, but you know, whatever. Anyways, moving on, the thing that he gave me from the Engram is Graviton Forfeit. I actually kind of want to do a super serious, deep-voiced uh, reading of the whole lore card on this exotic, because it is honestly one of the coolest lore cards in the game. It's very interesting. And it is also one of the coolest helmets in the game. Just look at that. Oh my god. Increases the duration of any invisibility effects. Your melee recharges faster when you are invisible. That is cool. That is very, very nasu. Moving on to his actual stuff, we have the Black Talon, which is now irrelevant because there are other projectile swords. Lamau! <laughs> Temptation's Hook. This is a pretty cool thing with a new sword frame, a caster frame, to launch a projectile attack. <laughs> but anyways, that's basically what the crow's wings do. Uh, that's its exotic perk thing. It looks all fairy and floofy, if you ask me, but whatever. Press to fire every projectile attack. Heavy attacks are stronger with full energy, blah, 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 blah. And it has this ornament. whoopie doo Moving on, Hunters, you have the Raiden Flux. I have this equipped currently because it is a very good exotic, and if you're using Arc Staff, this is pretty much the only thing you should have equipped. I I've lied to you, I actually have the Celestial Nighthawk on. Anyways, whatever. Uh, quick success of attacks with Arc Staff increases damage and output duration. Yeah, this is basically the, uh, the quintessential Arc Staff exotic. Moving on, Titans, you have the Synthocepts. Haven't seen these in a while, if you want to look all vascular and weird. The cool thing about this exotic, though, is the shader actually changes how the veins and the glow of uh, the gauntlets look. So it's actually pretty cool. You can customize them quite a bit. Increases melee lunge range, improves melee and super damage when you're surrounded. I'm actually going to grab these because I don't believe my poor Titan boy has them. And finally... Warlocks, you have the Prometheum Spur. Allow me to take a sip of my coffee really quick here. Uh, having coffee for the first thing in the morning is actually not very good for you, ladies and gentlemen. You should drink water the first thing in the morning because your body is dehydrated from sleeping. More than you know. I, I don't know why I keep ranting about water every now and then. Anyways, whatever. Prometheum Spur. These things look actually really weird. If you want to cosplay as a... Skeleton man or something? Yes, whatever. Uh, well, Daybreak is active, defeating combatants or guardians, creates a healing and empowering rift at their location. Not super useful. You just kind of create a rift wherever you blow people up with your flaming sword. Uh, might come in handy. I don't know. I still don't know what Five of Swords is. What, is that for Nightfalls? I never do Nightfalls. And he still has that. Whatever. Whatever. Alrighty then, everybody, that'll about do it for your day for this week. I do hope you enjoy Season of the Arrivals. Uh, well, this is going to be a particularly long season because it's all going to lead up towards September where the real hype is going to start. Oh my goodness gracious me. Thank you for watching, everybody, and dab on them haters, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!